Hey guys, uh, John from the House of Hydro again. So I'm going to show you how to change out the disc in your mist maker and uh, make sure you do it right because if you screw it up you'll cost yourself some money. Uh, you can pick up one of these packs from my website houseofhydro.com. These are ceramic discs with a Teflon coating. The disc itself is ceramic and they'll snap easy um, if you drop them on the floor. Uh, they'll snap. A common misconception is these black o-rings on the outside of the units uh, are protective. They do not go in the unit. So when you get it and get ready to put it in, you take this off and just get rid of it. It's garbage. So you take your key that you get with the kit and it fits right into this silver ring that holds your disc down. Now, when, whenever you first do this, the first thing you want to do, even before you put it in the water, if you get a brand new unit, you want to make sure these are tight. These tighten all the way. Uh, if uh, you're replacing your disc, before you loosen it, try to tighten it and see if it does tighten up any. Then you know that your O-rings are spinning while you use it and uh, you need to check it more often. If these O-rings get, or if these uh, retaining rings get loose, they'll uh, leak water and ruin your unit. So <clears throat> after you check to make sure it was tight, you take this, and these are spring-loaded, so be careful. You don't uh, shoot your retaining ring across the room. Now, inside, there's a clear O-ring down in there. Uh, that's got to be free from debris. Make sure it's cleaned out. Uh, if you need to take it out and replace it, use like a uh, Bic click pencil with the plastic end so you don't rip it. And uh, you can use that to put a new one in and take the old one out. So after you get your old disc out, now if your disc isn't too old and uh, it isn't ruined, you can actually soak these in vinegar and clean them up and get a lot more life out of them. The uh, average lifespan of these discs are 3,000 to 5,000 hours, depending on what you're using. If you're in uh, something dirty, like a pond, or using it in a fertilizer, you're going to shorten your lifespan. Uh, so you take the new disc and set it right on top. Take your retaining ring, and these things are a pain in the ass. So the way I do it is put my thumb over top of it so you have full control, and then you can spin it until you find it. There it is. Now when you tighten these down, make sure you don't cross thread it so you don't ruin your unit. And you're going to tighten these down all the way. Not extreme, but until it's it's good and tight. Uh, you don't want it rotating. Uh, a lot of these units get ruined because you didn't tighten the rings down uh, or they backed out when you were using it so you have to check them um, check out my other my other videos for troubleshooting tips uh, if you do have problems with it but that's how you do it check out my website thehouseofhydro.com you can pick these up from me as well as a full line of commercial grade high quality mess makers